for me, for me, why am I nervous? It's a podcast that has a lot of international views. I don't know if any of these persons know us. So you're going in front of an audience yeah. that is brand new and they have heard and seen so many others. And so. thank you to all those persons on Instagram yeah, who suggested, who our suggested us, yes. Right. To I be mean featured. there are so many great Jamaican couples, singles mm-hmm. who could have been on this and, and for us to be even mentioned in it. That's a huge privilege and honor for us. Oh, you get a little snorkeling. I saved a life, fall off a shark. I'm just the day of a hero. You know how we do. Yeah, you should get a medal before you leave. You know, so, yeah, I love this couple. They're extremely transparent, so they're going to share how they overcame the obstacles in their way opportunity to test the hearts and minds of people all across the world, to encourage them to love again, to encourage people that are in relationships that, you know, that that they take those vows seriously. I don't you want. I don't you want. I don't you want. I don't you want. Stuff from the cuffs. Stuff from the cuffs. If you had it back there and you're looking for a smile Bringing hope and joy for a day that was wild Stuff from the cuffs is here to make things bright In a world so dark, they bring us some light Stuff from the cuffs Stuff from the cuffs Stuff from the cuffs Dear future wifey, I long for the day when I can say you are mine and not just a figment of my imagination and being in my mind. I long for the day when I will say I do to you and us two will become one. Dear future wife. You have our already. <laughs> Cufflinks! Walk one! One. Tell us in the building. Please put on plan for my phone. No squatting around here. Eh? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what's in the video. That's what's in the video. What's up, guys? Welcome, Cufflinks fam, to another video. Car Chronicles, back putting on our nails again. Guys, so today on full the time, menu. Full time manicurists, nail technicians. Nail tech, yeah. So on the menu today we have marble and gray. Menu? Yes. Okay. Are you eating your nails? No. Look like some veins in your nails. It's called marble babe, marble. Anyway guys, we are on the other end of the island. Usually we're heading into town, we're heading into... Where are we going? Mobi. Mont... Montego Bay. I think I'm watching right now. Yes, we're heading into Montego Bay, guys, for... Montego Bay! You know what Montego Bay is, guys? It's the second city. Well, let's say they don't want to be known as the second city anymore. What they want to be known as? That's a city. They want to move from the second label. Okay. Yeah. So, we are on the way to... Wait, hey, the fog gone. There was some fog in St. Elizabeth. And we were wondering if all the... This side of the island was on the foggy situation, but... It's gone. We're seeing sun, seeing blue skies, and we're going to a hotel. We have Auntie Jean with us. Yeah. Much tea, much tea. Yeah. I like tea. Let me see you know. Yeah. We're going on a girls' trip, guys. <laughs> oh my God. But really and truly, we are just happy to be alive. Spending some time with the cufflinks. Road by the road by 
this side of the world. Yeah. But why are we going to town? We're going to town to be a part of a podcast. We're not going to town. We're going to Mobile. Where are we going to Mobile? We're going to Mobile to be a part of a podcast. Right. We're going to Montego Bay to be a part of the international podcast, Dear Future Wifey. And it is the number one relationship podcast in Jamaica. We are rated in Jamaica. Oh, it's rated in Jamaica. Yeah, it's rated as a number one. That's why they came here, decided to come here. Oh, I was wondering because it's the first time they're having a retreat. A retreat. And they mm-hmm. came to Jamaica. So I was wondering, I was going to ask him, you know. Yeah. Wow. Relationship podcast. So we are excited. I don't think it's Jamaica alone, though. The way, no. I, the way oh, they have been going on. No, but it's number one in Jamaica. I'm not Jamaica. saying name, man. I'm just saying I don't think it's Jamaica. I'm just saying. Because it's that good, well, you know. Yeah, well, that's what they said. Lateris, ah, uh, Whitfield. Mm-hmm. Lateris, Lateris, Lateris. Yeah, so we're excited about that. We're excited. Nervous. They have over a hundred people at the retreat, Nervous. and they will be a part of the live audience. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. Brian is nervous. I'm excited. More than anything else. Hold on. 300,000 subscribers on YouTube mm-hmm. and that's not the views that's just the subscribers right, views right. can I've seen one video that is 600,000 views I've so. seen with millions so especially on Instagram like the snippets that he posts so we are excited yeah for we're our excited. story to be heard on another scale another level mm-hmm. and we're honored and privileged and humble to be a part of it even if you can help one person yeah i think what i what i'm excited what i'm excited about is the fact that it's a long interview so we'll get to talk about more than what we've sorry what we've spoken about on you know previous interviews we start yeah, from the to, beginning. It can go two hours, guys. Yeah. Pray for us. So it, it, it's gonna be about two hours. Don't know how it's how much is going to be edited out, but about two hours. I'm excited. So the whole thing can share together. Yes. Yeah. We can share together. And I can dispute the facts yeah. that she brings to the table and tell them the true facts. Whatever. Especially how she looked me. I'm not Always disputing that. Key part of the conversation. <laughs> so. But I keep, and I will point that out today that I did not pursue him. I just knew he was mine. There's a difference. Pursuing can be passive and it can be active. No. Passive pursuance is putting. Is what? Passive pursuance is putting two. Paste, gold brush on people, they start suggesting subtly to them, say you want them to brush your teeth. <laughs> I've been brushing her teeth ever since. Uh, yeah. I'll be brushing something. But yeah, for me, for me, why am I nervous? It's a podcast that has a lot of international views. We're not going to speak at uh, all. I'm trying not to. I mean, you have to give them a little of the dialogue, the dialect, because. I explain to them because they're in Jamaica. Yeah, they're in explain Jamaica. to them what it they means. They want the full authentic Jamaican flavor. But, but of course. For me, yeah. I don't know if any of these persons know us. So you're going in front of an audience yeah. that is brand new and they have heard and seen so many others. Yeah. So, yeah. But as I told my wife recently when she had her interview on national TV that everybody has a story and every story counts and matters so that is that and thank you to all those persons on Instagram yeah, who suggested, who our suggested name. us yes right I mean featured. there are so many great Jamaican couples singles mm-hmm. who could have been on this and and for us to be even mentioned in it that's a huge privilege and honor for us. So, we we'll do our best to represent Jamaica. So, so forward. Look more. Dear future wifey, big up yourself.
from Rios yesterday. Ooh. Went to Dunn's Rivers Fall. Yeah. That's so nice. We got a chance to visit. Saw you on the boat? Yeah, we was on the boat. We did a little snorkeling. I saved a life, bought off a shark. <laughs> I'm not the day of a hero. You know that's how we right. do. You know how we do. Yeah, you should get a medal before you leave. You know, and that's why you got to talk to the prime minister. That's yeah, right. Let them know that I'm out here saving lives. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, on, on my off day. <laughs> So yeah, I love this couple. They're extremely transparent, so they're gonna share how they overcame the obstacles in their marriage and they're happily married today. See, some people are married, but they're not happily married. Cut for y'all, happily married. Happily married. Thank you for the opportunity to test the hearts and minds of people all across the world, to encourage them to love again, to encourage people that are in relationships that you know, that that they take those vows seriously until death do we part. Lord, we honor you on today. Thank you for uh, the curators of this event. Uh, I can't wait to travel. Thank you for them having the vision to bring me out here for such a momentous occasion. God, we thank you for all that you're going to do. Let this episode touch the hearts and the minds of the people that will witness this. Um, I thank the Cuffs for being willing participants and vessels to be used for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ah. We here now, y'all. <laughs> Podcast. I'm your host, Latera Star Winfield. We are in Mo Bay, Jamaica. Happy because the whole thing she just spoke about, a lot of times we have this concept about marriage that is not the truth. You know, especially, yeah, as young people, the IG posts, the Snapchats, the marriage is a whole lot of work. And, you know, I joked about it that I, I, I proposed to her when she was without makeup. But every single day we get up, there is no makeup in this thing. You know, the wedding, the wedding was where the makeup is, but the life that we live every single day is where the ministry is. And I think a lot of people forget that marriage is a ministry, and that is why it's a You said marriage is a ministry. How? Yeah, all right. So. I, I want people to understand, and I think a lot of times we try to have a marriage that is pretty for the people versus a marriage that is in purpose with the will of God. And, and we end up in misery instead of in ministry because we have that misconception. <laughs> For me, the, the first thing about getting married wasn't to please people or to please even myself, you know. I tell people that marriage, when I, when I MC weddings or when I'm asked to, to, to offer counsel because I'm not a counselor, I tell people that marriage is a birth and a death. A lot of the people don't want to hear that. Yeah. I die, she dies, and we are born on the same day. about the things that he allows you to go through and you can either break or get better from it and I'm so happy that we are better for the experiences that we had. Listen, y'all made me better just listening to y'all today. Yeah. Yes, yes. I thank God for you. I thank God for being so intentional. I remember a story some years ago about a young business ruler who he had it all and he went to a, a village and he was spending time with a chief and he couldn't understand why they were so happy. They had nothing but um, river water and they lit candles in the night. And he went to the chief and the chief said, why are you doing what you're doing? He said, so that I can be happy. And he said, 
what do you mean? I want to get a house and a car. He said, okay, you'll have your house and a car, then what? He said, then I'll have my business. And he said, then what? You're going to have businesses, and then what? Yachts and touring the world, and then what? He said, then I'm going to get married and settle down and have a happy life with my wife. And the chief said, that is what I have. So what he was doing was trying to go through the success route to get to happiness. But happiness is a literal something from God. During those rough times, I did not want to force him to come because I knew that if he didn't want to come, then it was just a slippery slope. I wanted him to want to be there with us. Because, yeah. Yeah, because I would be home. If she forced me to leave my job, I'd be home miserable. I would be, every time I think about my job, I'd say, yeah. Theo, you let me leave my job. Yeah, but when I thought about it, I weighed the pros and the cons. And when I, I know sometimes persons would say, oh, don't tell your parents your problems, or don't tell your mother, because when your parent, your parents will take your side and they will forgive you, but not him. But I knew that I could get wise counsel from my mother. Yeah. I went to my mother in times when I was giving up, and by the way, I gave up in my mind several times, because as women, we can leave you without leaving you. Yeah. So I gave, up. I gave up, and when I went to my mother, this year, my parents will be married for 40 years. Yeah. Grand finale. Stuff from the cuffs. Stuff from the cuffs. 